Welcome to Smart Wealth Education. Trading refers to the buying and selling of financial instruments such as stocks, bonds, currencies, commodities, or derivatives with the aim of generating profits from price movements. It involves making informed decisions based on market analysis, economic trends, and other factors that impact the value of the assets being traded. If you're interested in starting trading, here are some steps to consider. Educate yourself. Begin by learning about different types of financial markets, trading strategies, risk management, and fundamental and technical analysis. There are various online resources, books, courses, and tutorials available to help you gain knowledge. Define your goals and risk tolerance. Determine what you want to achieve through trading and assess your risk tolerance. This will influence the trading approach and instruments you choose. Choose a trading style. Decide on a trading style that suits your personality and time commitment. Some common styles include day trading, short-term trading within a single day, swing trading, holding positions for a few days to weeks, or long-term investing. Select a market. Pick a market you want to trade in, such as stocks, forex, commodities, or cryptocurrencies. Each market has its own characteristics and requires specific knowledge. Set up a trading account. Open a trading account with a reputable broker or financial institution. Ensure the broker provides access to your chosen market and offers a user-friendly trading platform. Practice with a demo account. Most brokers offer demo accounts that allow you to trade with virtual money. This helps you familiarize yourself with the trading platform and test your strategies without risking real funds. Develop a trading plan. Create a trading plan that outlines your trading strategy, including entry and exit points, risk management rules, and profit targets. Stick to your plan and avoid impulsive decisions driven by emotions. Start with small investments. Begin trading with a small amount of capital that you can afford to lose. As you gain experience and confidence, you can gradually increase your investment size. Continuously learn and adapt. Trading is a dynamic field, and market conditions can change rapidly. Stay updated with news, economic events, and industry developments. Learn from your trades, analyze your performance, and adapt your strategies accordingly. Manage risk. Implement risk management techniques such as setting stop-loss orders to limit potential losses, diversifying your portfolio, and not investing more than you can afford to lose. If you're a beginner interested in stock trading, here are some key points to help you get started. Educate yourself. Learn the basics of the stock market, including how it works, common terminologies, and the factors that influence stock prices. Understand fundamental analysis, evaluating a company's financial health, and technical analysis, analyzing price charts and patterns. Set clear goals and define your strategy. Determine your financial goals and investment time frame. Decide whether you want to be a long-term investor, seeking steady growth over several years, or a more active trader, taking advantage of short-term price movements. Your goals will shape your trading strategy. Open a trading account. Choose a reputable online broker and open a trading account. Consider factors such as commissions, fees, user-friendly platforms, research tools, and customer support. Ensure the broker is regulated and provides access to the stock exchanges you're interested in. Research and select stocks. Conduct thorough research on individual stocks or use professional research tools to identify potential investment opportunities. Look for companies with strong financials, a competitive edge in their industry, and a promising outlook. Consider diversifying your portfolio across different sectors. Practice with paper trading. Some brokers offer paper trading or virtual trading accounts where you can practice trading with virtual money. Use this opportunity to test your strategies, practice executing trades, and gain experience without risking real capital. Start with blue chip stocks. As a beginner, it's generally wise to start with well-established, reputable companies known as blue chip stocks. These companies tend to be more stable and less volatile compared to smaller, riskier stocks. They can provide a solid foundation for your portfolio. Develop a trading plan. Create a trading plan that outlines your investment goals, risk tolerance, entry and exit strategies, and position sizing. Stick to your plan and avoid making impulsive decisions based on emotions or short-term market fluctuations. 
Stay informed. Stay updated with market news, company announcements, and economic indicators that can impact stock prices. Follow reputable financial news sources and consider joining online communities or forums to learn from experienced traders. Practice risk management. Implement risk management techniques to protect your capital. Set stop loss orders to limit potential losses and consider diversifying your portfolio across different stocks and sectors to reduce risk. Learn from mistakes. It's natural to make mistakes when starting out. Learn from your trades, analyze what went wrong or right, and adjust your approach accordingly. Continuously educate yourself and adapt to changing market conditions. Remember, stock trading involves risks, and there are no guarantees of profits. It's important to invest only what you can afford to lose and maintain a long-term perspective. Consider consulting with a financial advisor or a seasoned trader to gain additional insights and guidance. Thanks for watching. Liquidity in trading refers to the ease with which a financial asset can be bought or sold in the market without causing significant price movements. It is a measure of how quickly and efficiently an asset can be converted into cash or other tradable assets. Liquidity is crucial in trading for several reasons. Price stability. High liquidity generally leads to price stability as there are enough buyers and sellers in the market. When a market is illiquid, even a relatively small trade can cause significant price fluctuations, making it difficult to execute trades at desired prices. Efficient execution. Liquidity allows traders to enter and exit positions with minimal slippage. Slippage occurs when the actual execution price deviates from the expected price due to the lack of available buyers or sellers. High liquidity reduces slippage and ensures that trades can be executed close to the desired price. Tighter bid-ask spreads. The bid-ask spread is the difference between the highest price a buyer is willing to pay and the lowest price a seller is willing to accept for an asset. In liquid markets, the bid-ask spread tends to be smaller, reducing transaction costs for traders. Narrow spreads also provide better opportunities for profit, as traders can capture small price movements more easily. Flexibility. Liquidity enables traders to quickly adjust their positions or strategies as market conditions change. It provides the ability to enter or exit trades promptly, reducing the risk of being stuck in an illiquid position. Market depth. High liquidity indicates a deep market with a large number of participants and substantial trading volumes. This depth allows traders to transact large orders without significantly impacting the market price. In contrast, low liquidity may result in order book imbalances and difficulty executing large trades without moving the market. Traders should consider liquidity when selecting assets or markets to trade in for several reasons. Ease of entry and exit. Liquidity ensures that traders can easily enter and exit positions in the market. If a market has low liquidity, it may be challenging to find buyers or sellers for the desired asset, leading to delays in executing trades or even the inability to execute trades at all. This can result in missed opportunities or being stuck in positions that cannot be efficiently liquidated. Efficient execution. High liquidity allows traders to execute trades quickly and at prices close to their desired levels. It reduces the likelihood of slippage, which occurs when the execution price deviates from the expected price due to a lack of liquidity. Slippage can erode profits and impact trading strategies. By choosing liquid assets and markets, traders increase the chances of executing trades smoothly and at favorable prices. Tight bid-ask spreads. Liquidity is often reflected in narrow bid-ask spreads. The difference between the highest price a buyer is willing to pay and the lowest price a seller is willing to accept. In liquid markets, the bid-ask spread tends to be smaller, reducing transaction costs for traders. Narrow spreads enable traders to enter and exit positions with lower costs and capture smaller price movements more effectively. Market depth for larger orders. Liquidity is especially crucial for traders dealing with larger order sizes. Liquid markets with deep order books can accommodate larger trades without significantly impacting the market price. In contrast, illiquid markets may have limited order book depth, causing price slippage and making it difficult to execute large orders without adversely affecting the market. Price stability and reduced volatility. Liquidity contributes to price stability by providing a balanced flow of buyers and sellers in the market. 
when there is sufficient liquidity, even a large order is unlikely to cause substantial price movements. This stability reduces the risk of executing trades at unfavorable prices and allows traders to make more informed decisions based on market trends rather than sudden price swings. Diverse Trading Strategies Liquidity opens up opportunities for a wide range of trading strategies. Active traders, day traders, or scalpers often rely on frequent buying and selling to capitalize on small price movements. Such strategies require high liquidity to ensure efficient trade execution and profitability. In summary, considering liquidity when selecting assets or markets to trade in is crucial for traders to ensure ease of entry and exit, efficient execution, reduced transaction costs, market stability, and the ability to implement diverse trading strategies. By choosing liquid assets and markets, traders enhance their trading experience and increase the likelihood of achieving their desired trading objectives. Overall, liquidity plays a vital role in ensuring efficient and smooth market operations. It enhances price stability, facilitates efficient execution, reduces transaction costs, and provides traders with the flexibility to adapt to changing market conditions. Therefore, it is important for traders to consider liquidity when selecting assets or markets to trade in. Thanks for watching. Entering and exiting trades effectively is an important aspect of trading. While there is no guaranteed method for trading like a pro, trading success is not guaranteed and can vary from person to person. There are certain principles and practices that can increase your chances of achieving success. Here are some key principles and strategies that experienced traders often employ. Education and knowledge. Invest time and effort in learning about the financial markets, trading strategies, and the assets you want to trade. Understand the fundamental and technical factors that can influence prices. Continuously educate yourself and stay updated with the latest market trends and news. Have a trading plan. Develop a well-defined trading plan that includes your goals, risk tolerance, trading strategy, entry and exit criteria, and risk management rules. A trading plan helps you stay focused, disciplined, and consistent in your approach. Regularly review and refine your plan as needed. Risk Management Implement effective risk management techniques to protect your capital. This includes setting appropriate position sizes, using stop-loss orders, and diversifying your portfolio. Never risk more than you can afford to lose on a single trade, and always maintain a long-term perspective. Practice Patience Patience is a virtue in trading. Wait for high-probability trading setups that align with your strategy instead of chasing every opportunity. Be patient during drawdowns and avoid over-trading. Quality over quantity is key. Continuous learning and adaptation. The markets are constantly evolving, so it's important to continuously learn and adapt. Stay open to new ideas and trading strategies. Analyze your past trades to identify strengths and weaknesses, and make adjustments accordingly. Never stop learning and improving your skills. Risk-Reward Ratio Maintain a positive risk-reward ratio in your trades. Seek opportunities where the potential reward outweighs the risk taken. This helps ensure that your winning trades can offset any potential losses and contribute to overall profitability. Consistency and Discipline Consistency is key in trading. Stick to your trading plan and strategy over the long term. Avoid chasing quick profits or trying to time the market. Maintain discipline in following your rules and processes, even during periods of market uncertainty. Psychological well-being. Take care of your psychological well-being. Trading can be stressful, so ensure you have a healthy work-life balance, manage stress effectively, and practice self-care. A clear and focused mind enhances decision-making abilities. Review and learn from mistakes. Mistakes and losses are part of trading. Use them as opportunities to learn and improve. Regularly review your trades and identify any patterns or recurring mistakes. Adjust your approach accordingly to avoid repeating them in the future. Conduct thorough analysis. Use a combination of fundamental analysis, technical analysis, and market sentiment analysis to evaluate potential trading opportunities. Fundamental analysis involves assessing the underlying factors that can impact the price of an asset, while technical analysis involves analyzing price patterns, trends, and indicators. Consider both factors in your analysis to make more informed decisions. Set clear entry and exit points. Determine specific entry and exit points for each trade based on your analysis. This includes setting a clear target price for profit-taking and a stop-loss level to limit potential losses.
stick to your predetermined levels and avoid making impulsive decisions based on emotions or short-term market fluctuations. Risk Management Implement proper risk management techniques to protect your trading capital. This includes setting appropriate position sizes based on your risk tolerance and using stop-loss orders to limit potential losses. Consider using risk-reward ratios to ensure that the potential reward justifies the risk taken in each trade. Use technical tools and indicators. Utilize technical tools and indicators that align with your trading strategy. These can include moving averages, oscillators, trend lines, and chart patterns. Technical analysis can provide insights into potential entry and exit points based on price action and market trends. Stay informed and adapt. Stay updated with relevant news, market trends, and events that can impact the assets you are trading. Be flexible and willing to adapt your trading strategy based on changing market conditions. Markets are dynamic, and adjusting your approach can help you make more effective trading decisions. Practice patience and discipline. Avoid impulsive trading and practice patience. Wait for the right opportunities that align with your trading plan and analysis. Maintain discipline by following your trading plan consistently, regardless of short-term market fluctuations or emotional impulses. Remember, trading involves risk, and there are no guarantees of success. It's important to start with a realistic understanding of the risks involved and only trade with funds you can afford to lose. Building experience and expertise takes time, so be patient and focus on continuous learning and improvement. Thanks for watching. Scalping is a short-term trading strategy that aims to profit from small price movements in financial markets. Scalpers typically enter and exit trades quickly, often within seconds or minutes, aiming to capture small profits multiple times throughout the trading session. Here are key characteristics and considerations of scalping. Quick trade execution. Scalpers focus on executing trades swiftly to take advantage of small price fluctuations. They use direct market access DMA, platforms or advanced trading tools to ensure rapid order execution. Small profits. Scalpers aim for small profit targets per trade, typically capturing a few ticks or pips in price movement. The cumulative effect of numerous small gains is expected to generate overall profitability. High trading frequency. Scalping involves placing a high number of trades throughout a trading session, capitalizing on numerous trading opportunities. This requires careful monitoring of price charts, market depth, and relevant indicators. Tight Stop Losses To manage risk, scalpers often use tight stop loss orders to minimize potential losses. If a trade moves against their expectations, they exit the position swiftly to limit the impact on their trading capital. Focus on Liquid Markets Scalping is commonly practiced in highly liquid markets, such as Forex, futures, or stocks with high trading volumes. Liquidity ensures that trades can be executed quickly and at desired prices. Technical Analysis Scalpers primarily rely on technical analysis techniques to identify short-term trends, patterns, and support resistance levels. They utilize indicators, chart patterns, and price action analysis to make quick trading decisions. Time and attention. Scalping demands significant focus and concentration due to the need for quick decision-making and trade execution. Traders need to closely monitor the market and react promptly to changing conditions. Transaction costs. Since scalpers execute a large number of trades, transaction costs can accumulate, including spreads, commissions, and fees. Therefore, it is crucial to consider transaction costs when evaluating the profitability of scalping strategies. Psychological Discipline Scalping can be mentally demanding, as traders need to remain calm and disciplined in fast-paced trading environments. Emotion-driven decisions can negatively impact performance. Successful scalping and trading requires a combination of effective strategies and careful execution. While there are various approaches to scalping, here are some strategies commonly used by traders. Price Action Scalping this strategy focuses on analyzing candlestick patterns, support and resistance levels, and chart formations to identify short-term price movements. Traders look for specific patterns, such as pin bars, engulfing patterns, or breakouts, to enter and exit trades swiftly. Scalping with moving averages. Traders utilize short-term moving averages, such as the 5-period or 10-period moving average, to identify momentum and trend direction. 
They enter trades when the price crosses the moving average and exit when the price shows signs of reversal or loss of momentum. Scalping with Bollinger Bands Bollinger Bands consist of a moving average and upper and lower bands that represent volatility levels. Traders look for price to bounce off the outer bands, indicating potential reversals or short-term pullbacks. They enter trades when the price touches or crosses the bands and exit when the price reaches the opposite band. Scalping with Stochastic Oscillator The Stochastic Oscillator is a popular momentum indicator used in scalping strategies. Traders monitor overbought and oversold conditions and look for potential reversals when the indicator moves out of these extreme levels. They enter trades when the indicator confirms a reversal signal and exit when the price reaches predetermined profit targets. Scalping Breakouts Traders focus on identifying support and resistance levels and trade breakouts when the price surpasses these levels. They enter trades when the breakout occurs, aiming to capture short-term momentum. Stop-loss orders are placed near the breakout level to manage risk. News-driven scalping Traders monitor economic news releases, earnings reports, or other market-moving events to take advantage of short-term price volatility. They enter trades based on the immediate reaction to the news and quickly exit to secure profits. Scalping with Range Trading Traders identify periods of low volatility and trade within the price range. They buy near support levels and sell near resistance levels, aiming to profit from price fluctuations within the established range. Stop loss orders are placed outside the range to limit potential losses. Regardless of the strategy chosen, it's essential to backtest and refine your approach using historical data and practice on a demo account before applying it in live trading. Additionally, risk management is crucial in scalping, as quick trades can amplify losses if not properly controlled. Regularly assess and adjust your strategies based on market conditions and evolving market dynamics. It's important to note that scalping may not be suitable for all traders. It requires a specific skill set, experience, and comfort with rapid decision-making. Additionally, efficient execution and access to real-time market data are crucial for successful scalping. Traders should thoroughly backtest and evaluate their strategies before implementing them in live trading accounts. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, share and click the notification bell. Thank you. There are several types of trading in the stock market, each with its own characteristics and strategies. Here are some common types of trading. Day trading. Day trading involves buying and selling securities within the same trading day. Day traders aim to profit from short-term price fluctuations. They typically close all their positions before the market closes to avoid overnight risks. Swing trading. Swing traders hold positions for a few days to several weeks, aiming to capture larger price movements. They analyze technical indicators and patterns to identify potential entry and exit points. Swing traders may take advantage of both upward and downward trends. Position trading. Position trading is a longer-term strategy where traders hold positions for weeks, months, or even years. Position traders aim to profit from major market trends and are less concerned with short-term price fluctuations. They conduct thorough fundamental analysis to identify stocks with strong growth potential. Scalping Scalping is a high-frequency trading strategy where traders aim to profit from small price changes. They execute multiple trades within a short time frame, often holding positions for just a few seconds to minutes. Scalpers rely on fast execution, tight spreads, and quick decision-making. Momentum trading. Momentum traders focus on stocks that are experiencing significant price movements. They aim to ride the momentum of these stocks and capture profits as the trend continues. Momentum traders use technical analysis, such as volume and price indicators, to identify stocks with strong upward or downward momentum. Algorithmic trading. Algorithmic trading involves the use of computer programs to automatically execute trades based on predefined criteria. Traders develop algorithms that analyze market data, such as price, volume, and news, to generate buy or sell signals. Algorithmic trading can be used for various strategies, including high-frequency trading, arbitrage, and statistical modeling. Options trading. Options trading involves trading contracts that give the holder the right but not the obligation, to buy or sell an underlying asset, such as stocks, at a predetermined price within a specified period. 
Traders can use options to speculate on price movements, hedge their positions, or generate income through option strategies. Forex trading, while not specific to the stock market, Forex trading involves buying and selling currencies in the foreign exchange market. Forex traders aim to profit from fluctuations in exchange rates between different currency pairs. This type of trading operates 24 hours a day and is influenced by various economic and geopolitical factors. Which type of trading is more profitable? The profitability of different types of trading can vary depending on various factors, including market conditions, individual skill and expertise, risk management, and personal preferences. It's challenging to definitively determine which type of trading is the most profitable as it can vary from person to person. Here are a few considerations. Day trading and scalping. Day trading and scalping can potentially generate quick profits from frequent trades. However, they require a high level of skill, discipline, and the ability to make quick decisions. Successful day trading and scalping often depend on a trader's ability to accurately analyze short-term price movements and effectively manage risk. Swing trading and position trading. Swing trading and position trading typically involve holding trades for a longer duration, aiming to capture larger price moves. These strategies require traders to identify trends, conduct thorough analysis, and have patience. While swing trading and position trading may generate higher profits per trade, they may require more significant capital and longer holding periods. Algorithmic trading. Algorithmic trading, if properly designed and implemented, can provide opportunities for profit. It leverages automated systems to execute trades based on predefined rules and market conditions. Successful algorithmic trading often requires advanced programming skills, data analysis capabilities, and continuous monitoring and optimization of the algorithms. Options trading. Options trading provides opportunities for potential profitability through various strategies, such as buying or selling options contracts. Options can offer leverage and flexibility but also involve additional complexities and risks. Profits in options trading can depend on factors like market direction, timing, volatility, and the accuracy of predictions. It's essential to note that trading in the stock market involves inherent risks, and profitability is never guaranteed. It requires thorough research, continuous learning, risk management strategies, and emotional discipline. Many traders also employ a combination of different trading styles or adapt their strategies based on market conditions. Additionally, long-term investing, such as buy-and-hold strategies, can also be a profitable approach over time, as it focuses on the overall growth potential of investments rather than short-term price fluctuations. Ultimately, choosing the most profitable trading style depends on your individual skills, risk tolerance, time commitment, and market conditions. It's advisable to thoroughly educate yourself, practice with virtual trading platforms, and seek guidance from experienced professionals before committing significant capital to any trading strategy. It's important to note that each type of trading carries its own risks and requires a solid understanding of the market, analysis techniques, and risk management. Traders often develop strategies based on their risk tolerance, available capital, and time commitment. It's advisable to thoroughly research and practice trading strategies before actively participating in the stock market. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe and share.